gone to English at Dawn's house. Do you remember we were talking about the seasons at school? Well, I have some cards here that might remind you what the seasons are in English. Let's see if we can find out. The first one is, you guessed it, spring. Is it spring now? Hmm. Or it could be summer. Is it summer? Well, I don't think so somehow. But it might be autumn. Is it autumn now? I don't think so. There's a good chance that it might just be winter. Do you think it's winter? I think it's winter because, well, it's snowing outside and it's cold. So I have a nice crackling log fire. I also have a story about winter. So stay tuned and I'll tell you a story. The book's called Cheeky Pete and Fiona and the Disappearing Snowman. And it's written by somebody called Dawn. I wonder who that could be. Here it is, the book. And disappearing means now you see it, now you don't. Stay tuned, listen to the story. Cheeky Pete and Fiona and the Disappearing Snowman. It was winter. There was lots of snow in Pete's garden. Let's make a snowman, said Pete. Good idea, said Fiona. So Pete and Fiona went to the garden to make a snowman. They made a big snowball for the snowman's body and a small snowball for the snowman's head. And I've got a picture of that. This is a picture that I painted of Pete and Fiona making the snowman. There's the big snowball and there's the little snowball. This picture is in a frame. Normally it hangs on my wall. The snowman needs a face, said Fiona. Stones for eyes and stones for the mouth, said Pete and a carrot for a nose. Or a potato, said Fiona. The snowman needs a hat and a scarf, said Pete. It's cold in the snow. And the snowman needs a coat. No, said Fiona, a snowman doesn't need a coat. A snowman likes cold weather. Pete's mum gave him an old scarf and hat for the snowman. Pete's mum also gave them an old green umbrella for the snowman to hold. Our snowman looks cool in his football scarf and fishing hat, said Pete. Pete and Fiona laughed. You might just see green umbrella there too. Let's make the snowman a friend, said Pete. It's nearly tea time, said Fiona. Let's make the snowman a small friend. Good idea, said Pete. So Pete and Fiona made a small snowman next to the big snowman. There he is. Fiona put a doll's hat and a doll's scarf on the small snowman. Pete found two Stones for the small snowman's eyes and two small stones for the small snowman's mouth and an old acorn for the small snowman's nose. Pete found the acorn in his pocket of his jacket. Fiona found two small sticks for the small man, snowman's arms. Cool, said Pete. Cold, said Fiona. Then it was time for tea. Look, 
There's the snowman and his little friend. And there's the green umbrella. It was getting dark in the garden. From the kitchen, Pete could still see the two snowmen in the garden through the kitchen window. Then it was time for bed. After tea, Pete had a good idea. He went to the garden, took a spade from the garden shed and scooped up the small snowman. You're coming with me, Pete said, and carried the small snowman on the spade upstairs to his bedroom. You can stay here tonight, said Pete, and stood the small snowman on the windowsill. Look, said Pete to the small snowman, you can see your big snowman friend down there in the garden. Then Pete shut the curtains swish, and got into bed. Pete's mum came in and said, good night, Pete. Good night, mum, said Pete. And Pete went to sleep. The next morning, Pete woke up and ran to the window. Pete pulled open the curtains, swish, but the small snowman was gone. Just the doll's hat and scarf, two small twigs, four small stones and the old acorn were on the windowsill. Where's my snowman? said Pete. Pete could see the big snowman in the garden from his bedroom window. But where was the small snowman? Pete wasn't happy when he went downstairs for breakfast. Hmm. Fiona had come round to play. Good morning, Pete, said Fiona. Good morning, Pete, said Pete's mum. It's not a good morning, said Pete. My small snowman has disappeared. Fiona looked in the garden, but the small snowman was gone. But a snowman can't walk, said Fiona. Maybe somebody took it. Yes, said Pete, I took the small snowman. I took it upstairs and put it on the windowsill in my bedroom. And this morning, only the scarf, hat, sticks, stones and acorn are there. The small snowman's gone. Oh no, said Fiona. Did you bring the small snowman inside? Yes, said Pete. Snowmen don't like it when it's warm, Pete. Snow melts when it's warm. There's a snowman melting. Sun's come out. And the windowsill is over the heater, said Pete's mum. Just then the kettle boiled for a cup of tea. Look, said Fiona, water vapour is coming out of the kettle. Water vapour. There it is. That's what happens to water when it gets warm. It turns to water vapour. But where does the water vapour go? asked Pete. It goes up into the sky and makes clouds, said Fiona. And then the clouds make rain. And if it's cold enough, the clouds make snow. Look, said Pete's mum. Pete and Fiona looked out of the window. It was snowing. Oh, look, said Pete. The small snowman melted and has turned to water vapour. And now he's coming back to the garden to be with his friend again. Pete was happy now. Shall we make the small snowman again, Pete? asked Fiona. Good idea, said Pete. But after breakfast. That was the story of Cheeky Pete and Fiona and the disappearing snowman. Maybe you can build a snowman in the garden, or even two. You could even paint a picture of a snowman. That's a good idea. Why don't you paint a picture like I did of a snowman? Or even two snowmen. Make a big 
snowball and a small snowball and make a snowman and maybe make it a little friend like Cheeky Pete and Fiona did. That's a good idea. You could send it to me on the school website. Get your parents to take a scan of it or a picture of it and send it to the school website and I'll pick the number one, number two and number three best pictures of snowmen. And then maybe you could win a prize. So start painting. Paint your picture, scan it or photograph it, send it to the school website to Dawn and then I'll pick the best one for a prize. See you next time on English at Dawn's House. Bye bye. Tell me pretty lights.